hi guys it's been absolutely ages since i'm doing a video and today i'm going to be showing you how to record one of your eye devices um on your screen now um there's been a lot of videos posted on youtube and i think a lot of them are scams in my opinion but anyways this is um a very efficient video and it worked for me so it should work for you and um this is how to record it. Now, a lot of you might have heard of iDemo because you might have tried it through other videos and it might not have worked, but I have got a serial code and a license key, whatever you want to call it, and a username for you to get the full version without charging you anything. So, what you're going to need to do is um, go onto this website here. As you can see, it is here website is here and you're going to go to say Windows or Mac or whatever it is you want and run save it to your desktop if you want to run it I won't run it because I've already got it and that's pretty much that's how to get the program for your computer now in order for the data to be transmitted to the screen you're gonna need something else aren't you and that's where you are iPod or your iPad your iPhone comes in and you need it jailbroken because you need Cydia now um, if I just go onto Cydia and as you can see um, just click that um, so it is it is kind of laggy but I would have to say it works extremely well it works extremely well so this is what you're going to need you're going to need a splitter and if I just type in screen screen splitter so just click on that and as my you can see mine doesn't say install but it would if um i needed it to so just gonna scroll down you can see a few things um it is slightly laggy but i will do another video um just to see like how that actually works now um one thing first things first if you are a windows vista or windows 7 user what you're going to need to do is on the actual iDemo program on your computer right click it just wait for this to properties because I had a problem it wouldn't let me do it on the compatibility mode it was already in so I changed I put run this program with the compatibility for Windows XP service pack 3 so that's that and um, it won't sorry and then um, you want to run this program as an administrator click OK and then it should work now in order for the data to be transmitted to the screen you're going to need to go onto your screen split app and I've just turned mine off and as you can see it's saying searching for device searching for devices now what you need to do is obviously you need to download the the actual software on your computer first but otherwise if you turn screen splitter on first then download the software on your computer it's not going to recognize it you might get conflict of issues and stuff like that so do do it as how i've done it and um i'm just going to turn on screen splitter entering my password which i had set up before when i first got splitter now as you can see it's recognized my device Tish's iPhone, it might say USB, it might say iPhone. Mine's plugged into my USB, but as you can see at the top, I'm connected to my Wi Fi as well. And you don't need to enter in your IP address, absolutely nothing. Now, what you're going to need to do is when to enter in the username and the the um, this the license code, you're going to right click on the actual the screen on your and click it will say something I cannot remember but it'll say something like um, purchase product and you don't purchase it from the website you purchase it by entering it the, the the values manually so this is what you're going to need to put in big J's for the username and 
use this for the license key. I'll put this all in the description so you won't have to type it all out. Just copy and paste. Very simple. And that is how you get it for free. Now, um, like I said, it is a little bit laggy. And it's about, I'd say, half a second slow. Maybe less. But I would do another video of me... Um, you know going on i'll do another another video of the testing so i'll test some apps i'll test safari i'll test um you know gaming apps and all that so i'm not sure anyone's going to be recording this safari but i'll be doing that and as you can see it's got you can change the um the device type and mine's set to automatic which means i have actually got the iphone 4s and you can change it so say I change it to iPad and as you can see it's being changed but that looks very ugly <laughs> that looks very ugly so I'm going to change mine back to um, automatic and as you can see it's good straight back to the iPhone for some reason you can't actually make it smaller which is kind of disappointing but I don't care and you can rotate it so if I rotate it right oh that is huge that's good that's a good thing it's a good thing so that's quite big that is good because if i on my testing video i can run these apps smoothly and stuff like that and plus obviously to record you're going to need camtasia studio so i would recommend getting camtasia studio and you can check this all out on my channel and how to get Camtasia Studio 7 for free so that is not a problem and um, that is literally all really that's all I've got to say and um, I really hope you guys you know get this done stuff like that so thanks for watching and goodbye